The last video I'm going to show you on is how to uh, make an exploded view drawing. Um, this is really handy because we're going to have a lot of measurements. Uh, handy for when you go to build the project. It's also handy because you will be using it uh, to make your cutting list with. Um, first of all, we need to get rid of that background. Um, probably Control Z to get rid of it. That way it shuts our lid as well. Um, get rid of any dimensions there. So we've got our piece here. We'll need a large flat area to display our parts on. Um, that might do there. Triple click on that object, right click, and then make it into a group. That way nothing accidentally sticks to it. Um, at the moment I'm using O, orbit, um, to orbit around and using shift to turn it into the pan tool. That's the quickest way to get around your drawing. Now, we'll see that on this stool we have a front piece here and a back piece there, actually identical. So any identical components, as you drag them off, you can delete the second one. Alright, um, now the way I'm going to present this is I'm going to lay all of these parts onto this surface down here. Um, and so we've got to actually pull it to the surface. Sometimes changing your view is helpful for doing this. Alright, so I've got it close to that surface. I just want to rotate it so it's all facing upwards. So Q is the shortcut for rotate. Now as long as you've got a nice flat surface like this one on the end and your protractor turns red in this case, um, I'm going to click, click, type 90, hit enter and that will get that piece all sorted. M for move. And I'll lift it up until from this corner until it touches that front top surface. Now, after you're done, you can drag this nice and close to the corner. And what we want to do is to label this. Um, we call this a rail or a side rail. And you're going to place that on here. Now, if the writing's too big or too small, the easiest way is to S for scale and then rescale that until you're happy with it. Um, the other thing, what you can do, I just forgot to do it in this case, um, is write down how many of those parts that you actually are going to use. So, rail times two. Um, that way you don't forget how many of those parts you got. Um, after you've done that you would want to present the overall dimensions of that part. So this is handy for um, working out how much timber you have to get cut up. When I look down from a top view, you should be able to see all of those measurements. Okay, so there's one component, and then start work on some of these other components. So that's the same as that part as well, so I'll delete the second one. Um, Q to rotate it. Now if you find over here, I can't get this angle here, it's black black is no good. If you grab it from this other piece, that's got a nice straight flat part there. Hold down shift, go to the corner, click, pull it away, click, lift it up, type in 90 and enter. So I might actually rotate it around this way as well. Always type in 90 and then enter. Don't just um, presume that the computer is going to move it to the right place even though it says it down the bottom. Uh, says 90, everything's happy, you go to click and as you click the mouse moves that tiny little bit and turns into something like 95 and 
you might not think that's a big thing but later on it causes a bit of a headache so easier if you type in 90 every time just in case your computer's a bit laggy get the overall dimensions of this one Now this could be two different ways but we'll try and make sure it's right, 255 is correct for that one and we should name this one, call it a leg or an end um, and there's two of those as well. S for scale, N for move, and click on the background. So we've got two of the components here. Um, I'm not going to show you all of these different steps because um, it might take a little while, but if you really want a super good version if you had screws and nails in there you would grab one screw you would label how many of, the, of those you have you'd also show how long that screw is um, and if you haven't included them and you after a really good mark you can just go up to um, get models and type in dicker and you'll find nails and screws of all different sizes so you can use those to to add that little bit um, to your project so um, once you have all of your components laid out and laid flat um, you can then go for a top view like this um, and it's probably also good to go parallel projection for that one as well um, oh. back to there H for the pen tool um, drag it into the corner, you'd have all the other parts sort of labelled around here uh, and once that's done you would use your snipping tool again snip your picture obviously this one's not complete yet but um, hopefully that's enough information for you guys to um, copy what I've done here and present your drawings nicely um, last thing is, is that these, these uh, files need to be printed off. You need to um, either print them off from home or get some credit from school and print it off at school um, and include them into your folios. Okay, I hope you uh, had some success there guys um, and if you have any questions don't hesitate to email me. Okay, thank you.